differentiate 2x squared y plus 3xy squared is equal to 16. So when you're differentiating, uh, yeah, I'm uh, applying the operator to each of the expressions. So this is d by dx of 2x squared y plus d by dx of 3xy squared is equal to d by dx of 16. Here you, this is an operator. So this, let us uh, uh, do the this first. So d by dx of x squared. So the the derivative of a constant is zero. Now for this, you have to apply the chain rule. So I'm going to use uh, sorry the product rule. So I'm going to say this is you can put the two out. So two times d by dx of x squared times y, differentiating first, which is x squared times the second, plus differentiating the second, that is d by dx of y times the first, which is x squared. So this is the product rule. 3 is a constant, I can stick the 3 out. So this is d by dx of x times y squared plus d by dx of y squared times x is equal to 0. So the same principle here, product rule, differentiating the first, keeping the second as it is, differentiating the second, keeping the first as it is. The same thing here, d by dx of x times y squared plus d by dx of y squared times x. So this is 2 times d by dx of x squared is 2x times y, so 2xy plus d by dx of y is dy by dx. So this, this is dy by dx times x squared plus 3 times d by dx of x is 1, so 1 times y squared is y squared plus d by dx of y squared is 2y times dy by dx. I'll explain this times x is equal to 0. Now, to differentiate this, this is the most difficult step. So let me explain this. How did we get this step? So what we're doing is when you're differentiating d by dx of y squared, you can't differentiate y squared with respect to x. So what we say, what we do is that is same as writing d by dy of y squared times dy by dx. So this thing, this expression, this much, is uh, differentiated like this. That is d by dy, you can differentiate y squared with respect to y. Now to cancel this y, dy, I put a dy here. And if you look properly, so this and this are the same. So this is d by dx of y squared because dy and dy gets cancelled. And d by dy of y squared is 2y. Okay, so let me now expand this a little. So this is 4xy plus x squared, 2x squared, 2x squared times dy by dx, expanding with 2. Plus, expanding with 3, this is 3y squared plus 2xy times dy by dx is equal to 0. So I'm bringing, I'm going to factor out dy by dx from this side and moving these two to the other side. So can I say dy by dx times 2x squared plus 2xy is equal to uh, minus 3y squared minus 4xy. So what can we factor? So dy by dx is equal to, I'm factoring a minus y out. 
So we'll have 3y plus 4x over divided by what can we factor out here? We can factor, okay, so let me write, we can factor out a 2x directly. So if you factor out a 2x, you have x plus, x plus, x plus 3y, okay, x plus 2. I made a mistake here. Okay, so this is not 2, this should be, this should be 6. No, 3y squared. Okay, yeah, what have I done? So this is, this should be 6xy. Am I right? This should be 6xy. So yeah, this should be 6. So if you have a 6 here, I think I've corrected it. So 2 times 3 is 6. So small errors can make a huge difference. If you take out, factor out 2x, we have 2x plus 3y. So this is your final answer. Your derivative is this. So let us check this. Now there is a point, there is a point say 1 comma 2 on this graph. So I've used a program called Graphmatica to show you that this equation become, you can graph this with not a simple graphic calculator. You need a a more complex calculator called Graphmatica. Okay, this is a free, free uh, you can download this freely from the internet called Graphmatica. So you type in 2x squared plus 3xy plus 3xy squared is equal to 16. Uh, I've made, made then a mistake here, so let me delete this. Delete, so this is 2x squared y plus 3xy squared is equal to 16. So this is the graph. Okay, so can you see this point 1 comma 2? This is the point 1 comma 2. So this if I draw a tangent, let's confirm whether our equation is right, our derivative is right. One, co one comma two, this is one comma two. So I want to draw a tangent at this point, and uh, I want to draw a tangent at this point. So this is, I hope you can see, the equation is, uh, draw the tangent at one comma two, and the equation of the line is 1.3, uh, minus 1.43x plus 3.43. So let's uh, confirm that. So this is at 1, 2. So I have, I have draw, I've copied, I've taken the screenshot. So this is the point I'm talking about. So this is 1, 2. And if you draw a tangent, a tangent is like this, and uh, the equation of this tangent, according to Graphmatica, is y is equal to minus 1.43x plus 3.43. So let's confirm that. Okay, so, so that way we can also confirm whether our derivative is right. Okay, so Let's see, so dy by dx, you can say dy by dx at 1 comma 2. So in place of x, you're going to put 1. In place of y, you're going to put 2. So this is minus 2 times 3 times 2 plus 4 times 1 divided by 2 times 1 uh, times 1 plus 3 times 2. So let's simplify this. So this is negative 2 times, this is 6 plus, this is 6 plus 4 which is 10 divided by, this is 2 times 6 plus 1, 7. So this is minus 20 over 14. 
which is minus 10 over 7. So let me uh, get my calculator out. So what is minus 10 over 7? Minus 10 divided by 7 is minus 1.43. This is in 1 dB. So your gradient, so you can see your gradient at 1 comma 2, which is divided by dx, is minus 1.43. And so the equation of the tangent, equation of tangent at that point, 1 comma 2, would be y is equal to minus 1.43x plus c, which is your y-intercept. And we know 1, 2 is a point on the, on the graph, so in place of y, I can put 2 is equal to minus 1.43 times 1 plus c. So your c is 3.43. And that's how we got the equation of the tangent y is equal to minus 1.43x plus 3.43. Okay, so let me show you that. So this is the equation of the tangent. The program tells me directly that the equation of this tangent at 1 comma 2 is minus 1.43x plus 3.43.